having checked out of Colombia the day before and only having 24 hours to leave, our plan was to leave the marina and travel down the coast past Cartagena to the islands of Los Rosero. There we would spend a couple of days illegally moored before we set off on our crossing to Panama. We think Carla's got a small fish on the line. Very small. <laughs> We arrived just before sunset. The 70 mile run had taken us all of 12 hours. We commandeered a mooring buoy for the night. What a beautiful place, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Stunning? Yeah. And the houses are just beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Yeah. There's quite a few big uh, properties. I actually think there were hotels which are kind of derelict. Uh -huh. But uh, wow, what a place. And what's it like at the moment? It's very rough. The waves are very big and they, it's very, very uncomfortable because they're coming on the side on the beam, so it's um, it's not comfortable at all. And they're like two meters big, aren't they? Yeah. So it's not as calm as was the last journey. That's a big one. Gosh, I never got a big one like this. It was the first time. Congratulations! It's around 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, we left at uh, quarter to 6 this morning and I have to say we had a very good run right up until uh, around about 2200 hours and we were churning over uh, 7 knots every hour, 7 nautical miles and uh, it was uh, going well on a basically on a broad reach down to a close reach 
and uh, then all of a sudden it went completely pear-shaped and the wind started to rotate. There's a lot of thunder clouds around, a lot of lightning. Uh, it was actually going all the way down to the ground, to the sea. And I think we got trapped into a thunder cloud or something, a thunderstorm. It's raining. And uh, anyway, we kind of came through that at about uh, two o'clock this morning. And now we're just trending along under engine. Hasn't been the best journey so far. It's a uh, really hit a thunderstorm from 11 to 2 o'clock. It was terrible. There's uh, a lot of lightning, thunder, rain, heavy rain. And I was on my watch and I, went, I asked someone to come up. Because then the wind turned and we were having headwinds and um, yeah, I was just banging to the waves because the uh, waves they have they have been very hard. The sea has been very upset and when we go in, into the wind it's even worse. So no, it hasn't been a very very good journey. So now we're motoring because the wind dropped to four knots. So we're just motoring. But the wind is all around. It just goes, you know, all the way around. It doesn't settle anywhere. Yeah. So it hasn't been very good. I can't wait for the daylight. And now Five o'clock, so it should be something. Should be start seeing daylight at 15 past five. Dobby is after a big, big thing that is flying around, and he's going crazy. Oh so he's just crazy. Beautiful. This is just everything we look at. It looks cool, isn't it? Certainly is. Just beautiful. It's just palm trees, sandy beaches, warm water. You 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 wouldn't believe how warm the water is. It's just amazing. Happy to be here. Sunblast. Yeah, this is the actual, uh, the very island uh, that's in that video from when we first arrived. We've been away and we've come back, haven't we? Yes. Uh, it's beautiful. So in that video, we uh, travelled down the coast of Colombia. It yeah. took us 12 hours. Yes. You uh, caught a little fish. Yeah, I did. Just a little tiddity one. Yeah. <laughs> I caught a nice size barracuda, didn't I? He likes to say that. <laughs> and then uh, we went to Islas del Rosario, which are still in Colombia. And we made an illegal stop there because we are not supposed, we are supposed to leave Colombia in 24 hours after the check-ins, okay. check-outs. Check out. Yeah. And, uh, but we have decided to stay there for 24 hours. Hey, it's quite funny really, because I was actually really quite nervous about it. In fact, we stayed there for two nights, but the uh, Coast Guard guy just motored yeah, past they, us. they yeah. went by, they didn't say anything. No, they, no. they were not worried about us no, at all. not at all. all. No. No. And it was the most beautiful place ever. It's just so nice, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. It was stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. I love the houses. Yeah, the houses on the little islands. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. it was beautiful. Very yeah. nice. I'm really happy we, we stopped there. We stopped there. there. Made yeah. the effort. Yeah. yeah. And there was a mooring boy there, so we took the mooring boy, which... Uh, yeah, there was another thing we didn't know. I mean, no one came to no, for us to money. pay. No. Nothing. No. So it was good. Yeah, it was all chill. 
Yeah. And then we did the overnight crossing to Sunblast. Sunblast. Well, and you caught a monster. A monster. It was the biggest fish I have ever caught. In... It took you an hour and a half. Yeah, nearly two hours yeah. to take it out of the water. I was, yeah. I was about to cut the line and let it go. <laughs> because I couldn't, my shoulders was just in pain. Yeah, yeah. I had and to we help were, you And out. we were sharing the, yeah, we the were. Yeah. yeah, It was huge, absolute monster that yeah. was. And uh, that, how many portions of food did that make? Uh, 57. 57 so, meals. Yeah, something like yeah. that. So uh, we did very well out of that fish. Yeah, the That's freezers been... are top up. Yep, they are, <laughs> yeah. So uh, it was all rather exciting and then of course in the morning we arrived here in beautiful Samblas and it is absolutely stunning, there's yeah. no question about it. It is. it is out of this world, it is paradise. And for the whole islands we have been, this is the most beautiful this one. This is the most beautiful one, you've got uh, two or three islands and uh, you can anchor in between and as you can see here we've got uh, Ocean Fox with a line ashore and we can actually uh, just walk out to the boat. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, isn't it? it is nice, yeah. very nice. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please leave your comment below. And if you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram, uh, that would be great. And if you can support us on Patreon, it would be even better. Thank, thank you. you very much. Bye.